So about a year ago, a group of friends and I, guys that are big into barbecue in the UK, decided to get together, build a brick pit and cook a whole hog. We were looking to do it in the style of Sam Jones, Rodney Scott, etc. And here's a short time lapse of that pit being put together. I was actually working at this time. I was due to join them later on in the evening, but those guys did a great job at pulling the pit together. And I think the dimensions for this pit came from the Sam Jones whole hog book. And we pretty much used that Sam Jones book as our Bible when it came to temperatures and how to. And some of you will probably know cooking a whole hog takes a whole lot of wood. So we were really thankful that Big K got involved and were able to provide us with a load of oak logs and some additional bags of charcoal. We decided to make a stack of wood just so it was easy to grab at, you know, 3, 4, 5 a.m. in the morning when we're cooking this thing. Right, where have I got to put the next one? Okay. They're doing all the work. He's not even lying, he's done nothing. I haven't, I really haven't. Come on boys. This is not a song It's alright, it's alright. Thing is though, if we do it that way, is, are we going to be leaning too far into the pit to be able to turn it? With like, like that weight with our arms fully stretched? No, because what we do is if Spice hasn't cut up all of our rebar, my theory was those two pieces of rebar we thread through one end and then we can, turn then like, we can just turn it like a stretch like a stretcher yeah yeah in that case i'd cut it i'd cut it down the middle then right so we got the brick pit is all built ready to go We've got some rebar in there hogs pretty much ready to go it's been split heads come off We've got the burn barrel just there, ready to go. And Big K in the UK have sorted us out with all the wood, some extra charcoal, just in case we need a bit of a bump in temperature and just to subsidize some of that wood. It's not ideal, but wood's really expensive and we need a lot of it. So we've got that Big K charcoal just in case. Thank you very much, Big K, for sorting us out. <laughs> 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 So we've got the PK on and I'm making some real smoky Leroy and Lewis style smoked brisket trim burgers. We've got the hog pit over there ready to go. Hold on. Oh fuck. So it's all fucking welded shut. We'll die, aren't we? God, hold that. Good. God. Jesus. Okay, that sounds right. <laughs> right, so we got the burn barrel going. Thankful to Big K for uh, providing them. Hog pits ready to go. One, two, three, go. Yeah, I feel like there's too many. Okay. Just make sure that it lands between the gaps. <sighs> this is what I like to say is Christmas back home. This is the, the best gift. People want to eat it, they can eat it. If not, it's the little gift. That's fine. It's not the window for sure. Ooh. Twist. That sounded a bit wet. Did you Delicious. Steel. Yeah. Just tying it with tying wire so that we've encapsulated the pig. And uh, fingers crossed, should make our life very easy to flip it. Three, two, five. <laughs> So just to get things started, we went in with a couple of chimneys of Big K charcoal. Dude, you want to come out the bottom of the barrel? So we've got the pig on, running at about 225 to 250. We've got four probes in, running pretty even at the moment. Got the burn barrel over there, burning some Big K oak logs. It's about 10.30. 
We're gonna be cooking this till about 10.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're just gonna stay up all night, keep cooking. I tell you what I think would be a good idea is if I find some self-tapping screws and we self-tap one sheet to the other sheet so we create one solid sheet yeah then what we'll do is i'll drill a couple of holes in here we'll put some of the time wire through into these bars so that we'll be able to grab a bar each and move the whole thing backwards and forwards making our life a lot easier to control where we put the coal I'm very tired. Oh. Power up and we'll do the early shift. Amateur. to four in the morning looking good about 1 1 30 internal looking to be done about 10 a.m. it's looking good I put those logs in the front there mm -hmm. to cut the end off the uh What is the pigeon in the tree? <laughs> I'm fucking tired. <laughs> and here we have Majestic Wilson's Barbecue. So it is 8.20, pig is on point in terms of temperature. The guys have been keeping it nice and hot for the last couple of hours while we slept. Would you like a little sneak peek? Oh yeah. Come this way. Oh yeah. We're gonna flip it. It's coming off, and this is what we are uh, One sec. Sorry, let's go like this. Yeah. Are you going? Oh, <laughs> drop it. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Good work. Can we get any more? Got another one in there, or? Yeah, we'll get the lid back on. Yeah. Can you just roll it under? Right, are you. Can we get two people on the left? Two, oh, three. It looks dark, much darker than it is in real life. So at this point, the meat is tender, the skin is nice and crispy where we laid those coals directly beneath the pig. And now we just go through and pick all the meat out, make sure the bones are all removed so we can chop it up and get some nice chopped whole hog. And I can tell you, this was incredible. I'd had whole hog before, I'd never cooked one. None of us had ever cooked one and it just came out so tender, so juicy. The flavor of whole hog is like no other kind of barbecue. It was delicious. It was. We were all so happy that we managed to get it so tender and so juicy, given it was the first time for all of us. We had a couple of sauces go in, good few sides, some dessert. I served mine with some mustard-based barbecue sauce in a sandwich, kept it pretty simple and it was absolutely delicious. So this is a great bunch of guys that I did this with. They've all got really good social media accounts So please go down below into the description and check them out. Give them a follow They're all incredible cooks in their own right and coming together to do this cook with them was such a great couple of days And again a big thank you to Alex at Big K for sorting us out with all the fuel Hopefully I'll get a chance to do something similar again with these guys in the future
future i'll definitely be capturing that on film for another youtube video until then see you in a couple of weeks for another video